Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Mean Stack Complete Live Project Development from Scratch. Today is the part two where I'm going to give you a demo of the application we are going to build. I haven't built this application yet. What I have done is generated and created few designs, few wireframes and screens so that that would serve as our inspiration to build the application. Remember friends, when you see something working, that is our inspiration, that is our motivation. And that's the reason I've started building this uh, UI screen so that we have some motivation to start with. This is part two of the mean stack complete live application. Uh, please do support this project because this project will run purely by your support. Please do subscribe to my channel. Please do like the video tutorials. Please do bring that positive comments discussion to the comment section. Also, please do share this channel with your friends and colleagues. Also, you can consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. That being said, let's get started. So just a quick brief. Uh, what we'll be building is on a mean stack, right? So for our friends who are joining us new. So we would be using the following frameworks. We will use MongoDB for our database. We will use Express.js and Node.js for our backend API layer. And we'll use Angular version 11 for our front-end development. Below are the summer bonus, uh, I would say, frameworks that we'll incorporate in our project. We'll build it on the design framework we'll use is Bootstrap. And for writing test cases, we'll use Jasmine, Protractor, Mocha, and Sign-On. All right, so today we are going to talk about our application that we are going to build. And I call it Loan Manager, which is a simple loan management system, right? It's think of it like a software as a service kind of an application, which would be hosted in cloud and we will deploy it to one of the cloud vendors like AWS or Google Cloud or Azure. Below are the features that we will build. So I have few screens that I've developed uh, related to these features like authentication, authorization, dashboard, loans, customers, payments, invoices, reports, and settings. I see a lot of positive um, encouragement from a lot of you and you have been sharing your thoughts about ideas of what we should add. Uh, in this application. So I will be incorporating that also going forward. So please bring those fresh ideas also into consideration. Drop them in the comment section. All right. Uh, I think enough of talking, right? Uh, but um, I think let's get started. I want to show you a demo. I'm very excited for that. I hope you would like it. If you do, please give a thumbs up and let's get started with our application. Okay. So this is how our application dashboard screen will look like, right? So we have our metrics that we will calculate here. Don't go by the numbers. Like I said, these are uh, totally wireframes and designs uh, that we will use. So we'll have some kind of a dashboard metrics that we will calculate here. This is where we will use our, you know, calculations and, you know, we'll use pipes, directives, etc. Also, since there, uh, there are some amounts that we'll have to do. So we will use the custom pipes, custom directives here. We'll have a, this is a totally 100% responsive design that I've created. If you see, there is a scrolling, uh, like high toggling of sidebar that you can do. Um, you have the user details settings, activity log and logout option here. So once the user logs in, he will see the screen. Similarly, uh, if you see, this is totally 100% responsive. So if you see on responsive devices on mobile and iPad, it would look like this. You can again hide them. And these are all, if you see, uh, the tables are all responsive and it's 100% uh, compatible with iPhones, iPad, Galaxy phone. So any uh, device, we are building this design, which is compatible. So here on the dashboard, we will have some quick links to recent loans, etc. So we have hover uh, design on the rows um, and you would see this color indications Right. So this is where we'll use our switch cases to kind of show and hide the kind of colors that we want to show. Then we'll show some recent customers. Again, this data, we can always update, add more data as we go along. But this is the starter template that we'll use. Then we go to loans section. And this is where things get really interesting because you would have the grid here. Right. And you would have the functionality where we will be able to select all we can search within the table. This is a kind of a data grid. So we will give option for sorting, selecting column, arranging, downloading option. We can create a new loan. 
right? And then similarly, if you go to customer page, you would see the, again a grid. It will have pagination that we will implement. So this will include pagination, which requires us to build a backend system, which would help us as well. So yeah, and then there is we have this also where you can jump to a certain pages. Um, again, you will have you can click on them and drill down to a certain customer. You can see here I have provided option for sorting uh, the column. So we will use this also for sorting purpose. Um, and then you can click on add customer. Again, this is very basic uh, form. Uh, I know we will be making much more complex forms uh, going forward using reactive forms. So this is just like I said, it's a placeholder. We know where to start with. So that's where we'll start. Then we'll have payments. Again, it's a grid. It will have similar functionality. Uh, we'll have invoices. So this is where we will provide option for downloading, etc. We have loan types and we'll have some kind of settings which you can see something like this where you can turn on and turn off toggle functionality and save it. We would have activity log that we will capture here um, and see the recent activities that are happening. So this is all we will implement. So this is the skeleton and the uh, I would say the wireframe that we have that um, this is like a HTML template, right? So which is what we'll use in all our screens going forward. We will build reusable components. We will have services uh, for each of these sections and we will incorporate them. We will set up a MongoDB and ExpressJS layer, uh, backend layer to complete it. I hope you like the uh, this particular demo that I've built. I've spent a lot of time on this, building this whole template, this whole responsive design. Uh, so please do uh, like the video if you like it. Also, uh, in the next uh, episode onwards, we will start our hands-on coding. Um, so we'll start with installations of Angular and ExpressJS repos. Um, we'll start setting up all the required frameworks in our application and we'll start coding as well. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you're enjoying this particular series. I see a lot of excitement among a lot of you. Even I am very excited about this. Please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials. Thank you so much. Let's join in the next session. We'll start with installations and setup. Thank you again.